The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about cruelty to animals, praying that you will help to stop it. This week on Stop Animal Cruelty, we present part one in our two-part series on the tragic toll of working in slaughterhouses, where billions of animals are callously murdered each year. What is it like to work in a slaughterhouse? Most abattoirs use assembly lines to quickly and cheaply massacre and process the animals. Workers are paid very low wages, and the jobs are degrading, gruesome and repetitive. Employees must endure sickening scenes of blood, gore and death every day, and the working conditions are extremely dangerous. Many slaughterhouse workers feel trapped in their jobs, having no other way to provide for their families. Such a traumatic occupation exacts a huge price, training a worker's physical, emotional, mental and spiritual well-being. One couple who worked in a chicken processing plant in England described their former jobs. A csirkegyárban több fajta munkát végeztem. Elsőként a csirkegyárban az élő csirke felakasztása volt a szerepköröm. Szalagra kellett felrakni, ami a vágáshoz vezetett. Ha erre a munkakörbe betöltve volt, akkor már a halott csirke akasztása volt a dolgom. Én nekem a gyárban volt a szallagnál, ami kiválasztottuk a csirke mellett és a csirkelábot, és meg volt adva, hogy hány gram lehetett egy dobozban. És azt kellett kiválogatni, és formába tenni. Tehát az sem volt mindegy, hogy milyen formába szerepel a dobozban. Mert mindig más szallagnál voltunk, és volt még egy részleg, ahol voltunk, ahol a csirke mellett daraboltuk ollóval. A lényeg az, hogy ugyanúgy, mint egy állatot dolgoztattak, nagyon hideg, nagyon rossz körülmények között, se szünet, se pihenő, se munkaruha, semmi, semmi, semmi. Egyetlen egy gumicsizma, amit az előttem lévő ember levet, azt kellett nekem is fölvenni. Ő neki be volt ázva, én nekem is csak továbbra is a beázott gumicsizmába kellett dolgozni. These obscene killing factories can be absolutely massive in size. The largest slaughterhouses in the world, operated by a company in the US, can butcher over 32,000 pigs a day. And in the US alone, 270 chickens are slain every second, or about 8.5 billion chickens a year. To kill and process this many innocent beings, employees are under constant pressure to work quickly and keep the murderous assembly lines going. Gépek voltak, mindenütt gépek voltak. Nagy teljesítményű gépek voltak, amit, amire csak annyi volt épp az emberre bízva, hogy egyesével tegye jobbról vagy balra be a csirkét, de ottan úgy kellett járni az ember kezének, mint egy gépnek. És már akkor is nagyon-nagyon kiabál és szigorúan. Voltak velünk, tehát gyorsabban, gyorsabban, ha nem jó kiállítottak, but one aspect of abattoirs is even more revolting than the working conditions. A gyárban lévő drasztikus látványok miatt, az állatkínzások miatt. Ez nem volt az állatoknak esélyük sem. És ez, 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 ez nekünk nagyon fölháborító és bosszantó volt, hogy csak többet és többet és többet minden nap. Minden nap akasztottuk fel, a csirkét, és minden nap láttam a, a sok húst. Azt a rengeteg, több ezer, több ezer csirkének a, a, a tetemét, a, a testét. Belegondoltam, hogy mennyi ezer csirke megy el egy hónapba, egy évbe, és ez is az mind élőlény. És ilyen állatkínzói szerepeket csinálni, ez, ez nagyon, rossz, nagyon rossz látvány volt, és nagyon rossz volt belegondolni, hogy valamit azért fölnevelni, hogy ilyen kínzó körülmények között megölni és megenni. Witnessing countless deaths day after mind-numbing day is utterly devastating to one's mental state. 
In her report, A Slaughterhouse Nightmare, Psychological Harm Suffered by Slaughterhouse Employees and the Possibility of Redress Through Legal Reform, Jennifer Dillard, a lawyer in the United States, examines some of the many psychological problems, including post-traumatic stress disorder suffered by slaughterhouse workers. And in her book, Slaughterhouse, Gal A. Eisnitz, Chief Investigator for the Humane Farming Association, describes the crippling mental effects of this violent line of work. For many employees, the endless bloody murders they see at these factories of death continue to haunt them even long after they leave their jobs. Sajnáljuk, a, a, ami megtörtént, és meg kellett nekünk is ezt látni, hogy az emberek miket művelnek egy állattal. És mi nem tudjuk ezt elfelejteni, hogy mi történt ott, és miket csináltunk. Én, én nekem nagyon rossz élményem van vele szemben. És hát nem kívánom senkinek, de viszont az a tartás, ahogy az állatokat tartják, ahogy már elmondtuk a 21. században, és amiket végeznek vele, ez, ez, ez föltelmes. Ez borzalmas. Ez egy borzalmas látvány. Ez olyan, mint egy gyilkosság. Csupa vér minden, és, és még ilyen. Feje nincs rajta, de teste még, még, még ilyen. És ez borzalmas. Do the workers ever think about the feelings of the animals they slay? Former slaughterhouse employee Ed Callis, now a vegan, shares some of his personal experiences. I grew up um, the son of a uh, a dock foreman mm -hmm. in a beef slaughterhouse. When I got back home from the Vietnam War, mm -hmm. um, I went to uh, the slaughterhouse where my father was working uh, and took on a some work back then. Um, I saw many uh, things that um, uh, were fairly disturbing, mm -hmm. not knowing um, how sensitive I had become. Uh, I saw animals being led to their slaughter that um, uh, really impacted me. It was just the purpose they were put on earth for? Mm -hmm. I, I asked myself that question over and over as I saw them coming out of the cattle trucks and into the corrals and even jumping the corrals and, and fearing for their lives, running down the avenue um, and, and taking on automobiles head on, crashing mm -hmm. into them. And this animal was um, in fear of their life. So, in seeing that, I was just uh, aghast. How cruel! Mm -hmm. I mean, I had been back from a war and saw a lot of cruelty and, and death and killing and that sort of thing. Uh, and here I was in need of a job, and I saw all this cruelty again. Constantly surrounded by the animals' heart-wrenching cries for help, as well as blood, urine, and feces, slaughterhouse employees often try to find ways to cope. Eventually, I became desensitized, but in my heart of hearts, I knew there was something wrong here. Yeah. I, I didn't know exactly what um, guys carried a, a, on and a, and a, a bloodthirsty kind of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, during work, in the early morning hours, uh, loading trucks uh, with these animal carcasses, um, uh, men drank all night long, mm -hmm. uh, severely uh, intoxicated, mm -hmm. uh, um, but they did their job. Um, and I, I was offered a lot to drink, and, but I, I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, now looking back on it, I think they had to because it was their way of des desensitizing themselves. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to uh, be at peace yeah. with myself and everybody around me, but I just couldn't find it there. In Ed Callis's experience, the brutal work often resulted in another outcome. These men had episodes of rage and anger uh, if little things um, didn't go their way. Many a times they were uh, drunk in brawls uh, over the smallest of things um, and uh, the toughest uh, guy uh, was a guy who could pick up uh, 
you know, the most amount of weight that you just gave more respect to, but a smaller little guy would pick up something and start swinging. I mean, mm -hmm. hooks uh, and big hooks at these pieces of meat would roll down uh, the dock to uh, for us to swing them and cut them and load them. And um, so uh, many a times uh, there were a, a, an outbreak of a fight, um, and a lot of it just was not making much sense and I had to find a, another way out and um, eventually I did. Slaughterhouse workers can become so unfeeling to death and devoid of compassion that they sometimes injure or kill animals simply for amusement. Les Ingram, a former slaughterhouse employee in the UK, recalls one such incident. One young bloke I remember, he goes down in the laddish one day and he's carrying a boning knife and a pen's full of sheep and he just stuck the knife through the bars and stared into the side of a sheep. I said, what'd you do that for? When you're going into those places, killing animals is part of everyday life because that's what happens there. So it must affect some people, you know, uh, quite badly. Uh, where the people manage to deal with it and um, whatever the system they use for dealing with it, some do but some don't. Are people who live in the vicinity of a slaughterhouse also affected by the murderous atmosphere? Jaylene Musgrave, a vegan in Australia whose father worked in an abattoir, shares her childhood experience. Each night I'd go to sleep and you'd hear the, the cows mooing and you could just feel the fright and terror that they were going through and I just felt sick all the time knowing that these poor animals were, um, were being held captive and what they were going to go through. It just made me always anxious and I never ever want to live near anything like that ever again. While the employees in a slaughterhouse may be doing the killing, they are actually just one part of a system that supplies meat to consumers. Hence, there's only one way we can end this murderous cycle. Adopt a plant-based diet. I actually think that everyone, anyone that consumes animal products should take time to visit an abattoir. The people that work in those situations doing the dirty work for consumers and I believe that if anyone who wants to eat meat had to slaughter their own animal we'd have a lot more vegans in this world. How do the workers handle their heinous jobs? What happens when an employee can't cope? Does working in an abattoir affect family life? Please join us again next Tuesday on Stop Animal Cruelty as we answer these and other questions in the concluding episode of our series on the horrors faced by slaughterhouse workers. Thoughtful viewers, thank you for joining us on today's program. May all beings on earth enjoy long lives filled with peace and dignity. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.